Let's revisit the Seminary and Institute app and the My Seminary website for a reading update, which corresponds to the new policy for seminary students starting in 2021. Let's start with the Seminary and Institute app. If you haven't already downloaded it, you can do so in your app store. Type in Seminary and Institute, click download, then open, log in if you need to. And you can do get started or click settings. It will default to seminary, but if you need another feature, you can choose it here. The various features for this app have been covered in a previous video. We are just going to concentrate on the second setting, readings. You can see here two percentages. The first one is the most important, current progress. It says that currently for this student, there's been 97 days of seminary in the term and reading has only been done for 96 of those days. The other number is just a percentage of how many days there's been so far in the overall term. And that's not very important to what we're looking at today. And remember that when we're talking about days of the term, we're talking about all the days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all days, not just the days you meet for seminary. This is the most important number. We want that, well, we want that to be 100%, but it has to be at least 75% in order to get credit for seminary. The reason it's not is that we haven't yet marked today's reading. You can tap right there to record that you've done today's reading, and then you can see it brings you up to 100%. If, for whatever reason, you forgot to mark past days that you've read, you can click Reading History. There's no need to click on Past Terms. I'll explain that at the end of the video. But click the Current Term. Now, for the purpose of this video, it's Book of Mormon, but this program will begin in January of 2021. So click the current term, and here you can see the various days that were marked. But let's say, for example, that you forgot to mark the weekend reading. You did the reading, but forgot to mark it. So just tap the dates, and it will bring you back up to your current standing. Here you can go back if you need to, or click graduation. Remember that you can use these tools anytime to find out how you're doing currently, and you can check the current year or past years. Let's take a look at the My Seminary website, myseminary.churchofjesuschrist.org. You'll find the same tools here. Reading ratio, which is how many days you've read out of how many days there have currently been in seminary, and here is your percentage. Click View Details, and you'll be able to mark your daily reading right here and that will make your reading current. Now, why the percentage hasn't changed, I don't know, but we can see 98 out of 98, that is 100%. Over here, you can click for the current term progress, and it gives you a calendar like the app does. You can click on those days to fill in any days that you may have missed marking your reading. Now, I mentioned that I'd talk about past terms. If you try to click past terms here, it will give you this message. Due to a change in reading credit requirements, all students who attend seminary on or after this date, 2013, which essentially is anyone who is currently in seminary right now, through the end of this year, they've automatically been given 100% credit on their reading. In other words, let's not worry about the past. Let's start in January with your own reading program. What will you do? How will you do it? When in the day would you plan on reading the Doctrine and Covenants? How much do you want to read and in what way? Those are all programs that you can come up with for yourself. To help students accomplish these goals, let's take a look at the features from the student view. Badges and goals. If you're starting at the beginning of the term, in this case, the Doctrine and Covenants, students will see this screen. Currently, the student has 36 days yet to read in order to reach the first badge, at 37. This is the bronze shield. In order to reach that, a student would need to read 25% of the days of the term. In this case, it's 37 days. If a student reads 50% of the days of the term, that earns a silver shield. Gold is for 75%, and that's the number that students need in order to receive credit. But we would like students to reach 100%, and in that case, you get a diamond shield. These badges are intended to help motivate students to reach goals. Speaking of goals, at the top here, you can see reading goals. 
To set a specific scripture reading goal, students can rotate options to choose verses, chapters, pages, minutes, hours, and the number they would like to associate with that. But that's only one approach. If you click here for write your own personal goal, students can record whatever goal they would like. By clicking the information button, students can view goal examples that can help to give them ideas. When a student is done setting their goals, they click accept and then OK and you can go back to readings. On some phones, students may need to scroll up to get to the area where you can mark daily reading. And again, you can click here to look at the calendar. The My Seminary website functions very similarly for the student view. A student can view details and that will take them to a similar screen that they saw before with the same features. Click reading goal and here a student can enter the amount or period of time for the kind of goal they'd like to set, or they can type in a personal goal. Either one of those options will get you to this pop-up window. When helping students set goals, help them understand the intention of this program. Remember that just as our bodies remind us that we need daily nourishment, we need spiritual nourishment. When God fed the children of Israel as they wandered in the wilderness, he gave them manna daily. This was not just to nourish their physical bodies, but to remind them daily about God and his blessings to them, his power in their lives. Each of us needs that daily nourishment to our souls that studying the word of God brings.